Hello, hope everyone's doing good today. Today's video is my long-awaited quick look for the Pilot Stella 90S, aka the Stargazer, which I bought secondhand a few months ago. So we'll take a look at the pen later on as, as usual. Even though I bought the, the pen secondhand, it came in a box, fairly typical um, Pilot box. Nothing very uh, kind of uh, unusual about the box. This is the warranty card and it comes with an instruction, fairly typical instruction set on, you know, how you fill the, the pen with ink and so on. I tend to keep all the boxes with all the, all the literature on the pen so that, you know, one day if I decide to give the pen away or sell the pen, you know, at least I'll have everything with me. But it's really up to you. So looking at the pen, um, kind of a strange one because I am drawn to small pens, right? I mean, with my size hands, I should not be, right? Because, you know, the odds are this pen will probably not suit my hand size. It's probably because, you know, I, I am also drawn to um, small knives and kind of, you know, the way it looks, it's just, it's just cute in a way thereby, whereby I can actually just feel that it's very handy, that I can bring it around with me um, as my um, everyday carry or my EDC and bring the pen around. But, you know, in all honesty, this is probably not the, the most practical pen for my size of hand or, you know, most males in general. So looking at the pen, uh, again, starting from the top, you get a very plain finial, a bit of indent, I mean, raised um, center. On the other side, you, you do get a little, the same uh, raised center in the, in the end of the finial. Hope you can see this. You get probably kind of an unusual shape clip. You know, we'll, we've seen many, many types of uh, pilot clips in the past. This is probably one of the more unique ones. Incidentally, this pen was discontinued in uh, 2018. So you might not see this clip in another pilot pen for some time. You get a band on the end in uh, chrome of some sort. Incidentally, this whole pen is made from brass, right? So it is some heft on it so it's chrome plated clip and then this is a kind of a pearlescent white uh, finish on brass so looking at the the center cap it's it says stella 90s if you have the us uh, version of this pen it will probably be called the stargazer and it says pilot japan and that's it you get two um, blackish uh, inlaid type of grooves down here and cap wise you do get I believe it's it's plastic inside here right and it's this is actually a, obviously a snap cap so it, it snaps with a pretty secure uh, click uh, and the cap itself is does have a little bit of weight to it. So looking at the, the rest of the pen, as per usual, looking at the body or the, or the barrel first, uh, you have metal threads down here. So it's metal on metal, which usually in most fountain pens indicates like a higher class of pen. Uh, it's, it's metal all the way. You can catch a glimpse, I hope, of, of the brass material inside. So no eye dropping action for this pen. On the end of the, the, the body, you get a little, the same chrome painted ring down here. You notice that I have a Con, uh, Con 40 with, with this pen. It, since it was second hand, I'm not sure whether, whether this Con uh, 40 came with the pen. Most likely not. You know, I added my own Con, Con 40 in there. Section wise, it's a decent size section. I mean, in terms of length, However, for in terms of uh, kind of the thickness, 
it is pretty narrow right so I mean um, you know my preference for fountain pens is to have a section of um, about 11 millimeters and that's ideal for me and so this one is definitely way less than that and my guess is about it's about nine ish um, I can put the, the you know the actual thickness in the in the descriptions below the section also has a raised portion down here slightly raised which is nice so I mean, if you like to hold the uh, the pen really close to the to the nib it kind of locks you in there um, however I'll probably hold hold it like like so right and you know looking at the nib you get you know something which you probably will not see very often nowadays for modern pilots and that's a number three pilot nib and it's as in this case it's in medium with the scroll work and all that so number three pilot would translate to roughly a number four Jowo nib size you get the the feet nothing much special there and you know that that's pretty much it so this pen was discontinued like I mentioned earlier on in 2018 and probably the reason why is uh, you know it, it didn't really fulfill a uh, kind of defined spot besides being a pocket pen in, the, in Pilot's uh, pen lineup right this being a 14k pen the closest Pilot that you can kind of compare it with right now a 14 co a 14k gold nib pen would be um, the custom 74 um, and I'm talking about modern pilots so I just thought it would be interesting if you were to compare a size 3 pilot nib uh, with a size 5 pilot nib to kind of get an idea of the difference in size there is a difference obviously but very very slight and price wise I bought this second hand like I mentioned uh, brand new these these two pens would probably be in the same price bracket although I'm not 100% sure this uh, pen would go for about $100 US if not slightly more so um, this being such a short pen I have to post it to do the writing sample today I'm going to be using uh, my Rhodia pad I'm gonna raise my table a little bit to give you a little bit of closer look and this is in medium So it's a very smooth nib. The other thing which uh, a lot of people, or at least one or two people who have read the comments on um, on the forums would kind of highlight is that this nib is is wet, right? This is Rhodia and it's slightly more ab uh, absorbent compared to other papers, but you can tell definitely that it is a pretty, pretty wet uh, nib. So, you know contrary to what a lot of people think having a very big nib would be a you would you would kind of get a very wet uh, pen that's not through true right so most of the times uh, the wetness of the, the the nib would be because of how the feet was designed right so you can easily do shading up you know to kind of show you how well this pen lays down ink 
right right now i have uh, some blue black ink down here apologies i don't really remember what it was but it's for most likely it's pilot blue black uh, looking at by the shade of the of the ink down here so i'll just bring up the the writing just to give you a look so what do i think about this pen um you know first of all let's get the um the, the kind of the elephant out of the room uh this pen uh since it's been been discontinued there is no uh, equivalent right right now in in pretty much you know most of the fountain pen manufacturers lineup it's 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 you know you it's very hard to compare this pen with an equivalent size pen with a 14k nib you know out there right now so i i told you guys probably the closest you can kind of compare this would be with, with the custom 74 however you know see how big that pen is compared to this uh this tiny pen right the other pen which you can kind of compare it with would be the uh, metropolitan slash cocoon um, that would probably be more you know more relevant comp comparison nowadays because both of them have uh, in, in my case I have the white pearlescent finish for the for the cocoon um, I would say that the finish for the star um, star gazer I keep on calling it star gazer or the Stella would it feels better with more waxy feel and you know the details definitely are one grade higher than than the metropolitan slash cocoon one interesting thing to kind of take note is uh you know the pilot three number three nib you know it's the same size for both pens like this right and you can see kind of where the heritage comes from um you know that both of them are actually very clearly pilots however you know uh, this is a probably a twenty dollar or thirty dollar US pen with a steel nib, so it's not very really fair to kind of compare um, the Stella 90s with with the Metropolitan slash Cocoon. Like I said, this pen uh, fills a very distinct purpose. If you want to get it, it is a pocket pen. It is an EDC pen. Uh, it writes very well, decently wet. Um, it you know it takes the con only takes the the smaller uh, con forty uh, converter. It doesn't take obviously the con seventy and and bigger converters like this. So, in terms of it filling a niche, it's I would say it's a, a travel pen. It's an EDC pen, uh, and it's a pretty interesting pen um, if you're interested to collect pens um, as part of pilot's history so would i buy this pen again i you know my guess is probably not um, because first of all it is if i if i post it you know it is very very comfortable the problem for me is actually the section uh, thickness Right, so it's it's probably going to be a pen which my my wife uh, will be using a lot more in the future, and not me. So um, thanks again for watching. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.